Hey guys, today I'm going to post a video on a project that's been a few weeks in the making. We decided to revamp our entire goat pen. Um, every winter the goats are kind of sitting in soggy mess and we're going through a ton of straw trying to keep them up out of the moisture and the swampiness of it all. So we tore down the old goat pen completely, um, dug out all the shit basically and remade the pen and then worked on some drainage. So I'm going to put a bunch of little clips during the process that I remembered to occasionally turn on my phone and take so that you could kind of see what we did. And if you're having the same problem with uh, too much rain and snow melt getting into your barns, maybe this will give you some ideas. That's how high the ground is inside the goat pen. We're uh, gonna, huh? Oh, yeah, the taller. corner's even taller. You can almost just about reach the roof. Normally, it'd be way down here. Anyway, we're gonna redo this whole thing. We're ripping out all this mess over here. We're gonna make this whole thing kind of bigger, go across there. That's gonna come over here. And the goats will have more room, and then we'll be able to put our hay here again for the cows. So, I'm kind of looking forward to this. This has been kind of a disaster for quite a while because the goats literally look up over the top of this pen and it's only a matter of time before they just blink, bounce right out. We have the goat barn here that we've had for many years, but we're always having drainage issues inside. So we redid the inside and cleaned it all out. The goats only used to have half, a quarter of this barn roughly. Half of what you see here, or a little less actually. So now they have half of the barn essentially. And, uh, but I know from experience that water coming off the hill over there and water right here and water over there on the other side of the tractor, it's slightly higher. This barn seemed like a great place when we put it in 20 years ago, but so this all gets saturated and it has nowhere to go except in the barn. So we dug a trench in here, a French drain that we're going to fill with gravel that's in the dump trailer over there. And primarily rocks are all laying around here. And then it's going to go out that way. And then on the other side, I use the road grader to make a gentle slope out and away from the barn. Um, we don't usually winter over cows here anymore, so the front of the barn gets pretty muddy, but now it, it's not too bad if there's only a couple of cows out there. 
So this, the water, any water that's back in here, and actually I might cut a curve over here to direct this water over this way instead of this way. But any water that gets back here now should hitch that drain and primarily most of it will just sink into the ground. But any excess in a heavy rain will go around that corner. Based and then on the it. inside, we're gonna spread that around inside. We're gonna fill this drain, not with the stuff that we dug out of it, but with uh, gravel. So. Ari's like, who cares? <laughs> like, why is there no food in this bowl, in this bucket? <laughs> <laughs> 